Welcome folks, I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to continue our build series with Black Red Aristocrats. Uh, this, the, this is the mid-budget variant, um, so in this one here we go up 12 rares. So it's kind of the in-between before we go fully tuned. If you haven't caught it already, we already put out the budget version, which was all commons and uncommons minus the dual lands. Um, so in this list here, and to kind of refresh you on what an aristocrat deck is, it's one that you sacrifice your creatures for value. So what we're trying to do is get a bunch of cheap creatures that kind of sacrifice, getting payoffs with Mayhem Devil. Um, so if you want to check out the core of the deck uh, tech, we do it in the other video, but to give you a quick overview, our one drop slot, we have Sideways Angry Monkey that can sacrifice itself, pick off elves, but it's a 1-1 one -one for with haste. Um, cut down the number of Grim Initiates in this build. Uh, probably this will be replaced in the non-budget version with... Uh, not gutter. What's the dude's name? The this guy, gutter bones. Yeah, so he'll come in when we go to the non-budget. A couple number of those. We have footlight fiend. When it dies, you get to ping a damage. So you see kind of a theme here. We have our shocks. Uh, just good overall removal in the format. Pick off early elves. Uh, then we have a couple last Tef Reavers, so I'm doing a split between the two. Uh, when they enter the battlefield, they amass. So we're opting to go with these as opposed to the Afterlife uh, guy from the other build. What's your name? Uh, da -da 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 -da. I forget his name now. This guy, Orzhov Enforcer. So I want to try these out. So this between these four cards, we'll play around with this to see which is the best version. Uh, we have the Fireblade Artist, that's a 2-2 with haste, um, that attacks in, another good card that can kind of sack creatures. You have Mask of Immolation, um, that will sack your creatures. So now the rares we're adding in, we have Priest of the Forgotten Gods. So I've always been kind of medium on this card. Um, when it gets going, it's unstoppable, but it dies to pretty much everything. It's a little slow. I'm just hoping with all these um, elemental decks going around where you see less mono red. Uh, but basically, you could sacrifice any two other creatures, and then uh, your opponent loses two life and sacks a creature. We get two black mana and draw a card. So it's a good sack engine. Uh, we have our play crafter still. Uh, we add in Judith, the Scourge Diva. So it's an anthem for our creatures to make them stronger. And then whenever a non-token creature dies, Judith gets to ping one damage at something. Uh, we have Mayhem Devil, that whenever something gets sacrificed, it deals damage. And then we got our girl Chandra, three mana. And, uh, baby Chandra, which I've really, really liked. This is one of my favorite Planeswalkers, and I've actually played it probably more than the six mana one that I thought was going to be the best card in the M20. Uh, but basically, we're playing her pretty much solely for the middle ability, creating two 1 1 elementals with haste uh, that gets sacrificed at the end step. So, triggers Mayhem Devil, we can use them to sacrifice the priest. So, good kind of overall. In a pinch, we can also flash back the. Uh, with her minus ability, the shock if need be. Um, sideboard is pretty much the same. Duress versus control, Noxious Grasp versus green or white cards that we need to. Fry versus Teferi decks. Lava Coil, which can also be flashed back. So Chandra gets a little bit better with our uh, spell package post board. Lava Coil versus creatures. Uh, Davriel versus kind of the mid range or control decks to attack their hand. And then we move the Tibble to the sideboard uh, because Chandra is better. Um, I mentioned in the other video, I'm short two Dragon Skull Summits. I don't really want to spend wild cards on them right now because I spent a lot of money on the M20 packs and this is going to rotate in the next little bit. So you can play like the other tap lands or just play basics instead. Uh, and we'll get started. Um, so I'm going to play a couple best of threes and then a best of ones. I will do ranked to be a little bit more competitive this time. Uh, is that something that was asked? Um, and before we get started, just a quick favor to ask of you if you can. Um, the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner, if you can click that button and subscribe. It's free, it's easy, and it's a great way to support the channel. Costs you absolutely nothing and helps me meet my goal of hitting a thousand subs. Uh, right now, I get nothing from YouTube in terms of compensation because I don't have the thousand subs. Everything on the channel comes out of my pocket. I'm not looking to make a fortune with this. I'm really just looking to pay for my packs to continue putting out these build series um, and continuing to just always play like the, the next hot deck or whatever it may be to be tutorial and stuff like that for you, the viewer. So if you could, 
be greatly appreciated. I will be doing uh, in the next day or two, be posting it, a giveaway for Liliana Dreadhorde General, most likely. Um, and that'll be available to any of my YouTube subs. I'll randomly choose from that. Um, so we will be doing giveaways for the subs in the future as well. So it's one added bonus for you, the viewer. Um, that is all the pandering you will hear from my channel. Let's get jump into some games. I apologize in advance if you hear a little bit of background like drilling or hammering. I'm upstairs right now, but they're replacing my window downstairs. Um, so I'm trying to get this video out uh, early, but they're still doing some work. So we'll keep this in. Uh, we got, if they have an elf, we could shock it. We have the, we're gonna lead on the swamp. Let the, they might not think we're red. I haven't seen too many deck lists as well from the new set, um, so let me know what you're playing. Uh, MTG Goldfish hasn't really posted too much, um, so it's a little tricky. I still think we put Priest. It puts a target on, but they might be elementals. Uh, let me know what you're playing. I've been playing pretty much... Um, oh, that's good. That is good. I've been pretty much playing Elementals in all my constructed play, so I'm going to attack in first, see if they take the Paradise Druid. So here... I want to get rid of the Paradise Druid before they can tap it for mana. So sack these two, and then we can use the two mana that we get, Ooh, and we get Chandra for next turn too, which is great, and then just do that. So if they have like a Risen Reef next turn, we can shock it. Yeah, that's perfect. So we'll see what they get off Risen Reef. Always kill this. Always kill this. <laughs> Unless you're going to kill your opponent dead. This card gains so much card advantage. I guess there was a play to attack first there. So same play as last game a turn. So this is a game where Priest went unchecked and is great for us. Ooh, and we got Judith. So Judith next turn will be really nice. Judith and Chandra play nice. Uh, not from the creature dying standpoint, but from making them two ones with haste each turn. So we got a really nice value engine going here. Plague Crafter could come in and take care of anything the opponent plays. We also have the Shock or Firebrand. That's fine. What do you name? This is good to know just for next turn, so it's almost beneficial to let this live. We could probably kill him next turn anyways. We have 4 damage from Judith. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, because this dies. It deals one from it, one from Mask, and one from Judith. So yeah, we can kill up next turn. Just want to see what they name. Okay, so Risen Reef. This is the Elementals build with Omnath, so that's good to know. And we got Shock for good measures. Yeah. So opponent concedes. That was a really good first sh game showing. Uh, so in this match up, we probably want Noxious Grasp, Lava Coils. I think that's it. We're not going to grind them out on the card advantage game, and the rest doesn't really hit that much. Uh, the Plague Crafters probably aren't as good in this matchup. And probably get rid of the Reavers. We need one more cut. 
They're going to bring in more removal this game, so... Probably go down one priest on the draw. Go like that. You want to keep your one drop. So the way to beat elementals is you got to pressure them early, I find. Um, having played the deck a lot, mono red is probably one of the tougher matchups. Um, if you can't kind of get your Risen Reef chain going, then we kind of run into an issue. So this is the red version, not the Saltai version. So they have both a combination of Omnath to deal damage, and they're likely playing Baby Chandra with Risen Reef. So the zero ability triggers to, um, whatchamacallit, like two triggers of Risen Reef. We'll keep this hand. This is a good aggressive hand. So we're attacking them for four by turn two. Ooh, and Chandra. So next turn, if they have Risen Reef, we can just shoot it down, play Chandra, and then attack in. Oh, okay, so they have Omnath. Gonna decline here. I am going to Lava Coil Omnath. Because Omnath will start putting tokens, uh, counters on things when other elementals come into play. I don't want him to get that engine going, because then it makes our Lava Coils not as useful. Yeah. I will decline here. Uh, the question, I think we just play out the Chandra. Just attacking with everything here. they want to attack both into Chandra, I'm fine with that. They missed a line drop, so the pressure is probably good. Okay, so Nisa's a bit concerning. So they do need to attack in with both. Decline here. Yeah, I think we're a little. I'm gonna go after face here. This is three damage that we could throw at them. That's five. I think we just have to try to go at their face. If they have another Hydrate Crisis, then we'll just call it on that. No Judith this game kind of hurt. I had a nice aggressive start, but... Uh, so Cavalier of Thorns... Uh, they're playing the Cerulean Drake out of the side and theirs. I've liked the blue Cavalier more than the green Cavalier in Elementals, and I've liked the black one the most. Um, I actually haven't played the black one in my deck just because I haven't cracked one yet. But um, yeah, so we're dead here. Let's just see what we draw. Yeah, a little too late. We can get rid of like Nisa or that, but we'll concede this one. They got us there. All right, so on the play, we want to go more aggressive so we can maybe cut down Mask. Like, Mask was good game one, but now that they brought in Nisa...
Bring back Priest. Bring in a Davriel. Maybe cut down a Chandra, bring in a second one, just to eat away at their hand. Or do we want Duress? Maybe play Crafter. It's more removal. This doesn't hit what I want it to hit. We already have the Lava Coils, we have the Shocks. The rest is kind of an all or nothing approach. You want four, you want none, but they're more creature based. Uh, let's bring in Davriel. Let's try that out. We're learning. I haven't played too much red black aristocrats this standard. I like, I personally like the game style of uh, black white more. Okay, we don't have red mana here, and we have two come to play tap line, so I'm going to mulligan. Okay, this hand's a bit better. Uh, hmm. I'm going to put the lava coil back. This can deal with what we need to. And I'd rather have these two at the top end. We have a couple draw steps to hit that third land as well. Okay, so... Literally draw it back here. So really want to hit that land. Just to double check. Oh yeah. I'm just going to take him off the mana here. This is a clean answer, even if like Omnath gets bigger. Okay. So, how protection works is Firebrand can't do anything there. So this might incentivize them to attack into Chandra. But next turn we can drop Judith and get that going. I want to keep this for a Risen Reef. There's no sense because they just block this. It makes more sense for them to block it. Okay, so we'll put it on top. So it's a little bit more tempo on their part. Like we don't get to advance our board, but we still get to hit them for one. Our hand's a little awkward right now that everything is red based. Okay, Cavalier of Thorns. They got a bunch of lands in a crisis. Okay, so we hit the land here. Um, the question is... I think we just do a setup turn like this. I'm not going to attack because they'll just block like this when we pass the turn. We just get to do the two damage off the sacrifice effect. And then, so if they attack with Cavalier, I'm going to block with Firebrand. So block, and then sack. And they hit a Risen Reef, get a card to hand. 
Ah, uh, damn it. That one I needed. Um, so we need to get rid of Cavalier here, most likely. So, want to see how they attack in here. We're not completely out of the game yet, but they are slowly turning the corner. Because now they're going to probably get the Hydroid Crisis back. And that'll gain um, two life. Minimum, if not more. Okay, then burning the lava coil there. Ah. Double trigger there. Okay. Let's go, Judas. So they obviously get the one block there. They don't block with Risen Reef. We can also Chandra and then play another Chandra to make four creatures. Ah, that's probably game. That is probably game. Put a counter on it. This is when their engine gets going. So now they'll kill Chandra. So we can't even Chandra Chandra. I am not happy right now. Neither am I, Chandra. Neither am I. Alright. They got us. The Hydroid Crisis is going to just give them the card advantage. So, that one wasn't too bad like we saw what could have become, but... Obviously a more tuned list than ours. We'll run it back for another one here. It's tough once they get like the Risen Reefs going. So I find like the mono red decks actually very good against elementals. They have a lot of one toughness, like dropping Chain Whirler, I've been rocking them. Uh no thank you. Yeah, we'll keep this. Like, we really want to grab another land. Um, here, I'm going to get rid of the Mayhem Devil, just because it's a little redundant. We want to keep our curve of 1, 2. Probably gonna shock this actually. Disfigure. Okay. Well, we get to amass anyways. This becomes two. Important to know amass doesn't, like, other instances of amass don't kind of scale. It just keeps adding to the one. I made that mistake when I thought I was getting multiple blockers and it screwed up the math. Okay, so they took Judith there, which kind of sucks. This is Grixis. So, not the fastest clock. We'll see what flavor of Grixis this is. No, oh, they're going to shock themselves. So we're super weak to Cryocarnarium, but in this matchup, once they get like a Nickel Bolus down, we're dead. Yeah, that's fine. They took their two damage by having a shock into that. 
don't understand why, if you have the cry in hand, why not just take the two damage and then save the devil? Okay, they're stuck on land, so... Even if they one for one removal this, that's fine. They hit four, this could be a Kefnet, or a Kindling Phoenix. So I'll just drop down the Mayhem Devil here. No attacks. We do have the Shock for the second half. Rekindling Phoenix is a good card for this deck too. Yeah. All right. Let's try this again. They're gonna keep one for oneing. Nicobolus. Yeah. Uh, so we have the Reaver here. I'm just gonna get rid of Nickel Bolus. Don't want that alive. Second Cry Carnarium. Um, just past turn. Can't really do much here. And this is why, like, against control decks, you gotta be aggressive. Like, they've pretty much turned the corner. The only thing is their life total's low enough that I might be able to steal the game with, like, a Judith. Oh, and they got Kefnet. So this is heavier. I'm surprised they didn't opt to flip Nickel Bolus there. Because uh, they basically have lethal. Let's poke in. Yeah, they got us. Oh, I <laughs> All the removal. Alright, so this is definitely a duress matchup. I like Davriel. Lava Coils. And Fry. All right, coming out. Chandra's not bad. I'm gonna get rid of the Mayhem Devils because they die to everything. Cut down to Judith. Cut down the Priests. Cut down the Mask. Put in the Chandra. Probably run it like that. So the reason we're taking out Priest here is it's very unlikely that it survives. Uh, it gets hit by Cryocranarium, gets hit by Cryocranarium. We're probably going to win with like an unchecked uh, Chandra. And now that they saw that, they'll probably bring in um, Ritual of Soot as well. Okay, very aggressive draw. Angry Monkey Go. Since these games we've been playing against Control, I'm probably not going to do the best of one match. We're getting at least five, potentially six gameplays here, so... So we're Chandraing next turn. We have the Fry if they drop something. Okay, so they blow Cryocarnarium. It's not the most value, and I'm glad that we didn't drop Judith. Okay, so they can Bedevil Chandra. Okay, so they Nico Bolas. Probably just get rid of Fry. Or the Lava Coil. Okay, 
We have Chandra to down tick to get it back actually. I like Fry because even if they drop Nicol Bolas here I can kill it. They're gonna kill that. Maybe they get greedy. So I'm just playing out the land here because I want to be able in case to do memorial to folly. Get back a creature to our hand. And because they're heavy discard. I'll just pass the turn here. Ooh. Why you do that, Chandra? To each non-elemental creature, so guess what? Uh, actually... That deals a damage, that deals a damage, so we can kill... Let's do that. Let's do that. Do that. I'm reaching my boiling point. Get back Judith. Watch us instantly draw Judith. Okay, so not the worst. And that's why I like Memorial to Folly in the deck. Let's get toasty. We're gonna need to kill this. We're gonna, we're gonna cry. So, a little tough. Both are pretty much tier decks, but... Oh, they still get... Forgot Nicol Bolas likes to clone. Okay, so they're just using this for the scry. Another initiate. I think we're just running through the motions here. No Narset refills their hand. Yeah, moment of craving, I'll gain him some life. They got us. All right, so that's the deck. Um, you can see the elements of it. Obviously, we need some fine tuning. Uh, some of the cards will probably feature in the non-budget version is Bantu. Uh, that's a good way to refill our hand, possibly some rekindling Phoenix out of the sideboard uh, to get around Cryocarnarium, uh, the gutter bones. So there's some options there that we can put together. Um, anyways, thanks for tuning in, uh, and if you haven't done so already, if you can hit that subscribe, it'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, happy FNM, and have a great one.